Welcome back to M Hood Fishing, everybody, and happy Thanksgiving. This is actually the day before Thanksgiving. Gonna have a pre-Thanksgiving feast out here. My friend Alex is on his way. It's afternoon time, so we're getting ready early. I take that back, it's not early. It's almost four, so that means we have an hour or so of daylight. It's not cold today, but that fire is comfy because there is a bit of a wind out here, if you can't tell. Yeah, you're right. Got up to 70 degrees. It's still in the 70s right now. I'm in a t-shirt. It's really nice compared to yesterday, except for this wind. I'm going to go ahead and get a couple lines out. Alex is on his way. We need to get our bait out. Here's the bag, and here is a carton. We're gonna do worms and cut bait here. We're gonna do a size one octopus. Put a whole night crawler on there. Just kind of wrap it on a bit. We're gonna leave a little bit hanging off at the end. Something like that. Relatively close in might have a fan on that crew boat because the other night we did so sometimes when I get to a spot I notice things that I don't really want to just let go can you see it that is frayed looking pretty pretty bad too I don't know if they're honking at the boat or us but we'll wave anyway so we need to cut that out because I'm working with braid, I have scissors. I always keep a small pair of scissors to cut braid in this particular box here, my catfish box. Almost done. I had a nine, not a nine aught, I'm sorry. I had an eight aught octopus hook on there. We are actually going to go smaller for this afternoon. We're gonna use a six aught. We're gonna use perch tonight, bluegill and panfish that I caught yesterday. Here's something I do quite often, but you don't necessarily always need to do it. I just trim those fins off, that dorsal. We're gonna keep the baits relatively small to start. I think that's gonna work out best. There we go, hook just like that. There we go. Time to tend to this fire, and get the grill on here i wanted to get a bed of coals before i started doing anything doing beer brats out here we got two packs there's five in each pack hopefully alex and i can eat 10 but i doubt it that's fine though extra for the house These are actually the cheddar and bacon ones. Pretty much my favorite. Get them on there. See if we can squeeze both of them on that end like that. Open this beer. I've had these tinfoil plates for a bit. Hopefully they don't have holes in them. I doubt it. I think one can of this, this is Budweiser, I think is going to be fine. I'm just going to keep a decent heat underneath those. And once they've, they've changed color and they've been stewing in there for a bit, we'll toast them up on the grill as we eat them. Oh! First taker. They're also pulling their anchor over there. Oh no, he's not there. Let's see, is that bait looking okay? Wow, doesn't look like anything touched it at all. Starting to boil in that first one right there. This one's getting there. One of the things I might want to do because obviously there's more heat there. I'm gonna see if we can, oh, that was not smart, but hold on. Just 
kind of move things around a little bit really helps to move things around rotate them in there move ones that have been over the hot spot to a more mild spot so you can try to cook things evenly because it's not always easy to keep a constant temperature in a container like this that you're cooking in you can move coals around and stuff but yeah you just got to keep working you can't just like start to fire put the pot there and expect it to all work out fine it takes a lot of attentiveness here this uh bulker in front of us is definitely getting ready to disembark they've been pulling their anchor chain for the past few minutes now you can see it coming up slow disembarking is a real slow process for these ships been stoking it getting it more even it's looking good Look who showed up. How's it going? Yeah, you're right. We're real close to sunset, guys. Look at these. You see them, Alex? See how close those two ships are? Mm-hmm. It's like uh, bow to stern. It almost looks like they're touching. It might be an optical illusion. It's been about 30 minutes <laughs> since they started the process of disembarking in they're slowly drifting away starting to go they got the anchors up <laughs> takes forever for these ships to get out of your way not that they're really in my way you getting a hit another take that didn't take i was busy doing this and he said hey behind you so we gotta keep doing this. You're getting a hit, Alex. Just just hold back, relax. This is a big rod. See if it comes back. It's the same thing that we both have seen this on our rods so far in the past 10 minutes. They're probably small fish, but there's gotta be a big one out there somewhere. I see it wiggling a little bit. I got a slack line too. These are pretty much done. I just want to put them on the grill to give them a little crispy. I'll put two there. There you go. There you go, Alex. Thank you. And this one's for me. Alex likes his wet. I like mine dry. What is a tea? that is hard to swallow. You ready to give up? Reality. Reality is that we're watching bites, but we're not catching fish. It's still early in the night. Oh, oh, Alex. Reality is we're gonna get something and you might have it, Alex. You might want to not jump the gun or screw the pooch there, but. He's on. He's on. And so are the lights. Does he feel good? Yeah, I think there's some uh, snag going on as well. You, you're in that area right now. He's run over there, but as long as he's not, if he's coming in, because that, that snag is a good ways out. And once you get close in, you're clear. There he is. Yeah, yeah. He's not in a snag. Oh, no. You might have the line wrapped around him or something. That might be what's up. Let's feel a little that was like on cue. Yeah. What is a T that is hard <laughs> to swallow? You couldn't get it. You're like, well, the letter T wouldn't go down real well. That's yeah. a decent blue cat. Yeah.
Here you go, Alex. Whoops. I might have one too. That's the whole reason why I turned on the camera was because I saw this worm activity, something hitting the night crawler here. And then Alex figured it out, sort of. It's nice. Do you want to keep that tonight? I don't have anything to take it with. Be all right. Okay. Got him. Right. Not very big. He's trying to put up a fight right here. He's not winning because he is not big. Oh! Hey. That's why. That's the goo, man. That's probably what's been. Uh... Stealing the baits. That's what's been, uh, this is why I wanted to use a size one instead of a one aught. Off chance that I might get one. He swallowed that too. He did. He almost would like to keep a Gasper Goo tonight, make some poor man's lobster, but this is not big enough. He is not legal. Therefore, he gets to go home. Before we go, I'm gonna make myself a treat. I'm gonna make some British style s'mores. Not that that's a thing though, I'm just calling it that because I'm gonna use McVitie's Digestives. This is a British tea biscuit company. You can get this at Walmart. You see it's covered in milk chocolate. We're gonna open this up and get two of them out. Traditionally, s'mores are made with chocolate, like Hershey's chocolate, right? Chocolate bar. And then graham crackers. We got two of these. We'll put put them there. So we got the chocolate. And here we got some marshmallows. We're gonna be insane and get two of them out. Put them on my stick. This is just a piece of willow. Here we go. There we go, it's ready to go. We're gonna grab one, smash that right there. Grab two. Ho ho ho, that's fine. Put that off to the side to eat later. Here we go. I probably have the wrong beard for this. I bet it's gonna get messy here. That's pretty good. That's Better than a moon pie, I dare say. Mmm. Messy. Messy. All right, guys, we gave it till 9 o'clock. We had a good time. I hope you're having a good time, a good Thanksgiving. Alex really liked that s'mores idea, and he got a nice fish, and then I got a goo. Yeah, you're right. All right, guys, thanks for watching, liking, sharing, and subscribing, and I'll see you next time.